Good morning, weasel. Ready for a new day? Good morning, everybody. We're just getting on to TransCanada 1 westbound in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Here is where we spent the night. Tonight, our goal is to make it to Vernon, British Columbia. So we're going to see some mountains today. In two kilometers, turn right on 20th Street. Get ourselves onto the highway here. You guys see me coming there? Turn my signal on, make it clear what my intents are. You moving over? Yep, thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. So it's 850 kilometers or 860 kilometers to Vernon from here. Uh, it'll probably take me about 10 hours of driving to get there. Once you hit the mountains, you gotta slow down quite a bit. <clears throat> and I've heard from uh, a few people. Karen, why would I turn right there? Why wouldn't I just stay going? So she wants me to turn right, go around and come back to the highway and keep going. What are you doing? No, 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 I'm gonna go straight. I've heard from a few people that there's snow up in the mountain passes already in British Columbia, so we might even see snow today. I think we're going against a pretty good headwind here again. This truck is working pretty hard. It's hard to tell because there's no crops in the field and no grass in the ditches long enough to show me which way the wind is blowing. And there's no trees. <laughs> Not anywhere close by anyway. Judging by how hard the truck is working, I'm guessing we're going against a pretty good headwind here. But I wanted to fill you in. Uh, the final update on my dad is that he got out of his procedure. Uh, I think it's called an angiogram, right? Or angiography? Where they check the heart. And uh, there's no problems. He doesn't need any stents. There's no blockages. And they say it looks better than before he... right now and I don't know if you've noticed it there's some white stuff laying around
up that petrol pass. Uh, just south of Cochrane, Alberta on Highway 1 west of Calgary. Still have potholes that'll swallow you whole. Spit you back out and swallow you again. I'm gonna find some parking back here. I think I'm gonna go into their restaurant here and grab a bite to eat. I need to restock my truck with food again. It's expensive eating out too often. But from here we have about another six hours of driving. So it'll be a quick lunch. Was there a dog in that truck? You saw it too? I did. How does that make you feel? Kind of nice knowing we got nice neighbors, actually. Okay. Well, I think he's leaving, but if he sticks around, you're going to be quiet, right? You're not going to be barking at that truck? Ah, uh, I think they're leaving anyways. You'll be fine. You'll be fun. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but right over there, there's the Rocky Mountains. So we're on the edge of the Canadian prairies right now, and we're headed west into the mountains. But first, we need something to eat. I'm starving. We gotta tackle these mountains. Whew, that was a big meal. Could have done with one less piece of chicken, but I ate it anyways. Cause there's no chicken left behind. Come on, start up. There you go. All right, Diesel, you ready for this or what? Hours and 21 minutes of remaining drive time. That took 45 minutes. Went in, ordered, I had a salad first, a Caesar salad, and then uh, three-piece chicken dinner with macaroni and cheese and some vegetables. Nice balanced meal, I think. Here's me, Diesel. Throw that back there for you. You got water? Right on, you got food? Still haven't eaten your food, man. All right. You finish your food? Good boy. There you go, you see? Now we got 524 kilometers left to go. There you go. Lock ourselves in so we don't fall out. Let's go, Diesel. Can you sit down? Good boy. All right. To the mountains. Hopefully the weather isn't too bad going over the passes. Look at this, it's just a mud hole here. Yikes. Glad I didn't just wash the truck. Yikes. Continue on this road for 231 kilometers. I think we're going to get on that road, Karen, and we'll follow that road. How about that? I don't want to follow this road very long. This road is dirty. So this is actually the scale here. I've never seen it open. You know, been driving since 2006 and over the road since 2011. Been past here countless times, but I've never seen this scale open. But you can use it. I mean, that guy's using it, see? Gives your weight for free. All right, and onwards. Onwards and upwards into the mountains. Haven't seen the Rockies in a while, eh? Hopefully we'll get to see the majority of them before the sun goes down. 
gonna be a beautiful day. Well, it's a beautiful day here on the prairies, but in the mountains there, you can see, uh, kinda looks like snow out there, doesn't it? Kinda looks like there's some moisture falling from the sky, I don't know. I don't know, over there too. Let's hope that's just an illusion. to Banff where the once we get through there we'll be in British Columbia it sure looks like there's some bad weather ahead of us there's supposed to be mountains in front of us right now you can't even see them it must be snowing pretty heavy there fantastic fantastic like this is going to be an interesting afternoon. Entering Banff National Park now. And the snow is already starting to fall. Do you see it? It's gonna get interesting. There's the sign. Crossing border, entering British Columbia. Changing time zone. Indeed. Pacific time zone, British Columbia. They welcome us with snow. How rude. So far it hasn't been too bad, just a little light snow like this. So it looks worse up ahead, but it looked worse behind us too. And we never hit it. So I don't know, man. Guess we just gotta find out. Maybe we'll be okay. Maybe it'll be a blizzard. In Alberta and British Columbia, we have these animal bridges. This whole thing was built just so that wildlife can get from one side of the highway to the other without crossing the highway. Because there's fencing all along the highway here, right?
Welcome to Golden, British Columbia. We're gonna pull in here. There's a Timmy's right beside the Husky truck stop. And you better believe it. We're gonna go and say hello Continue to Tim's. Continue on this road for 23 kilometers. No, Karen, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to miss Tim's here. Nope. It's right in here. This used to be a Boston pizza too. What is this? Western Pizza Family Restaurant. <sighs> Does anybody like these new Tim Hortons lids? They always leak. They didn't have any espresso either. Their machine was down. We need to start a campaign. Bring back the old lids. Nobody likes these new lids. I love the smell of British Columbia. You guys know what I'm talking about? It smells like one big lumber mill. Everywhere you go, it just smells like freshly cut wood of the best sorts. I love it. Hey buddy, could you just stay in your lane there, bud? Hey, how about you just, uh, okay, that was close. You had plenty of room there. Push me up onto the sidewalk, why don't you? Oh yeah, you guys know that smell? Like if, if you were blindfolded and brought in a jet, you know, and flown around for like several hours so you didn't know what part of the world you were in, and then they dropped you right in the middle of British Columbia. All you'd have to do is take one sniff and you'd know exactly where you were. You wouldn't even have to see the mountains. You'd just smell it. it smells so good. You know, if it wasn't so expensive in British Columbia, if their taxes weren't so ridiculously high, I wouldn't mind living here. I think a lot of people would move if they would just lower their, you know, come back more into the more reasonable tax range, you know? And the people who live here, they'd back me up on that. I mean, they, most of them live here because they were either born here or, you know, they got a really good job or they got family. A, a good reason, right? Not a lot of people just move to BC because, just because. <laughs> Isn't the motto for BC something like, hey, British Columbia, bring cash. Sir Weasel? Sir Weaselot? Just Weasel, man. Weasel! Does this make you uncomfortable? We're at our customer and we're delivering here first thing in the morning. So, I'll see you here then, right? Don't forget to subscribe. A lot of you subscribed yesterday when I asked you to. I gotta start remembering to ask you at the beginning, too. But hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you liked it, chances are your family and friends, they, they might like it too. Unless if they're not as weird as us. But it's okay. We can hang out then tomorrow. I'll be back uh, 
with a new vlog. Right, Diesel? Yeah. Yeah, man. Good night, everybody.